Hello there and welcome back to another Luminar Neo tutorial. Today's video is all about the Gen Erase tool that everyone has been waiting for. This amazing generative AI tool is set to launch on October 26, 2023 and it will allow us to remove unwanted objects from our images using the Content Aware AI tools. In this video, we'll discuss the technology behind the tool first and then head over to the Luminar Neo to take a closer look at it. First, let's talk about how the Gen Erase works. The Gen Erase, just like the rest of the generative AI tools in Luminar Neo, uses the stable diffusion model to intelligently replace the unwanted areas by filling them with textures and other elements. The process starts by you selecting the unwanted area with the brush tool. Once happy with the selection, you simply click on an Erase button to activate the AI Erase process. The application takes the specific part of your image and send it to the cloud-based AI machine which will use its technology to replace it. Knowing that, you will need an active internet connection to be able to use the Gen Erase tool. But since the application only sends a small portion of your image, it will not require fast connection. At this point, it's important to mention that this entire process of replacement is anonymous and no data is saved on the cloud or used for machine learning. Coming back to our process, once the machine creates a replacement, it sends it back to the application where it's added to the image. At this point, you will be able to decide if you want to use that specific replacement or if you want to regenerate it again. Now, just before we continue, I want to quickly remind you that our Luminar Neo Autumn Bundle is back with over 721 new Autumn elements to power up your favorite tools in Luminar Neo. For a little fee, you will get high definition skies, overlays, textures, backgrounds, frames, LUTs, and presets to transform your Autumn images with just a few clicks. As a bonus, if you get it today, you will also get an additional Halloween bundle to really get you ready for the upcoming season. To get the best possible price, follow the link in the description of this video. And to find out more about it, head to our website, cleverphotographer.com. And finally, it's time to look at the tool itself. As you can see, I'm in Luminar Neo. I'm in the catalog module and in front of you is the early beta version of the tool. So even though it's going to be located in the catalog module, it will not be part of the extensions. However, it's here right now. So we're going to use it from here. I have a sample image here with the lions and the cars behind. And obviously what we're going to try to do is to remove the cars. So once we have the image selected, we can now click on the Gen Erase tool and that will open a brand new window. In this window, we have a controllers at the bottom, starting with the selection of the tool. We now have the Erase, we have the Undo, Redo option, and then we have some information about the tool. We have the before and after view, which I'll show you later, and also the option to zoom in. The following set of controllers allow us to adjust the brush we're going to be using to select the area we want to erase and replace. So once we have the select selected, then we can go ahead and brush over the area we want to replace. After that, we can also select the deselect, which obviously allow us to remove part of the selection. The next option is a simple slider that allow us to adjust the size of our brush. Moving forward, we have the option to reset the selection. And by doing that, by clicking on it, it will basically remove everything that you have selected. Finally, we have the magical erase button and we will use that in a second. So let's switch back to select and then let's make our brush bigger. When it comes to selection, you don't need to be precise with it. You can basically brush over the elements and as long as you include everything that you want to remove, it will work. 
In fact, it is preferred that you select a little bit more than the objects you want to remove. So just like that, let's select the cars. Then we can make our brush a little bit smaller. And you can do that with the slider or you can use the bracket keys on your keyboard. And then let's select the antennas. And that looks like that's everything. So once we have the selection made, then we can return to our toolbar and click on Erase. Now, just as I mentioned earlier, the application now take this specific part of the image and send it over to the cloud, where the generative AI will try to replace it with texture or element as close to the actual scene as possible. Depending on the size of the area you're trying to replace, the process can take from few seconds to almost minutes. However, I'm using the early beta version of the tool and there is a chance that the speed will improve. As you can see, the image has returned and it did pretty good job replacing the cars with the road. Now what you can do, you can click on erase again and regenerate the area or you can simply click on save and save the image. For me, I'm quite happy with what the tool did. So I'm going to click on save and continue. Once you do that, the image will return in the catalog module and it will be saved in a new folder that will be created called Generative Creations. And from here, you can continue your edit by bringing it into Edit Module and use any of the tools available there. And there you have it. If you want a copy of our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet, there is nothing easier than heading to our website cleverphotographer.com slash luminargift. While you're there, you can also check out one of our popular Luminar Neo products, or you can stay here and watch more videos about Luminar Neo. For today, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure that you like, comment, and share on this video. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.